So I got accepted into art school in Italy and I thought it would be interesting today to sit down and talk about my experience with entrance exams. Yeah. What the exams were like, what they consisted of, things I didn't expect, how I prepared and how I passed. Maybe you're just curious or maybe you yourself are preparing to go into an art exam and are just curious to hear about other people's experiences to get a bit of insight and feel a bit more prepared. In that case, I'm sure you've got this and good luck. So for context, I've come from Australia to study painting for a year in Italy. Uh, in an academy called Brera. Just imagine if I came all the way here and I got rejected and I'd just have to go all the way back to the other side of the world. <laughs> Suffice to say, I was quite nervous, but nerves really don't help anyone. So I had my tactics to try and stay calm, which I will get into shortly. <laughs> I had to take three exams and they were spread out throughout a week so I had a day of break in between which was nice. My first exam was a multiple choice quiz on general knowledge and cultural knowledge which to be frank went quite horribly. We had two hours to answer a hundred questions and I think I left with ten minutes to spare. I was more expecting questions about art art history and culture, but there were actually all sorts of unexpected and random questions, really specific and difficult questions, all the way from economics to operas and theatre and music. The point system was pretty hardcore too, to be honest, because you get a point if you get a question right, you get zero points for not guessing and you get negative points for getting it wrong, so it's really not in your best interest to just guess and hope for the best. Yeah, none of that yeet take a wild guess stuff which I suppose is a good thing. A few months ago in Australia when I found out about this exam I was quite nervous um, just because I've never done education in Italy or in Italian so I obviously don't know the general knowledge that somebody at a university level in Italy should know. I actually called them at the time asking for more information and telling them that I was very nervous. They did reassure me and tell me that the exam would have like extremely general knowledge and that the exam would be super easy but it was not easy. I do think the majority of students had a similar experience to me coming out of that exam so at least there's that. And you know, for me in my specific scenario, there were definitely a couple barriers, one of them being genuinely just the language barrier. I speak and read Italian, uh, but I mean, in an exam like that, there were long, difficult sentences with big words, and so I didn't really understand everything. And then obviously, I've learnt everything I've learnt about art in English, so I don't know the terminology and the art language in Italian, so that was rather frustrating. The, the amount of questions that came up and I felt like, damn, if that was in English I would know the answer! I just didn't know the translation in Italian, so that's tragic. And just living here with such rich art history and culture, I'm sure with time you just pick things up and learn random facts and interesting information and maybe even dates if you have that mental capacity. So yeah, I mean, I've missed out on all of that, but that's why I'm here, so. There were a few recommended resources to read, uh, but to be honest, I only got through one of them. I did manage to get through the story of art, um, but that is a fat book, so I decided to read from like Baroque, Rococo era to now. It is a bit frustrating because it feels like I only used like 0.05% of what I learnt in the exam. But yeah, I mean, either way, it's good to keep learning just for yourself. And it is an interesting book, so I do recommend it. The second exam was a drawing exam. We truly all went in having no idea what to expect. Uh, it was definitely chaos. We didn't know what materials to bring, we didn't know how long the exam would be, how many drawings we should make, and what the subject would be. <laughs> so I mean, we all just got there at 9am uh, with... I just brought as many things as I could possibly carry, just that I'd have a few options to choose from depending on what the prompt was. In the end, the day was split into two sections of four hours. So I mean, we ended up drawing for eight hours that day, that was pretty hardcore. We were set up in what just looks like an art classroom, as you'd expect, like a messy classroom with easels everywhere and stools and like a centre stage for a model or props or whatever you're drawing. They supplied us with big, I'm guessing, A2 or maybe even A1 paper, so you couldn't use your own canvas or anything just because they need it to be official and whatever with the signature, I don't know. <laughs> for us, the first section was just a free drawing, so they just told us you have four hours to do whatever you want doesn't matter, materials, style, subject, number of artworks, it's 
completely up to us. So that was pretty cool, I actually had a lot of fun. It's strange because usually when I go into a classroom of that sort, I go in with the mindset of trying new things and challenging myself. But I mean, obviously we went into this purely with the goal of showing off. <laughs> I mean, it's an exam, obviously you want to play your strengths and make something that you know will work and something that you know will be impressive. I ended up using coloured pencils and basically just remaking a portrait, uh, you know, with my face like this. It's a painting that I haven't finished yet. So I was sort of redoing an artwork I've already done, but again, showing off. I'm already familiar with the composition, the subjects, the colors, forms, shapes, everything. So it was pretty easy, but it was quite fun. I got really absorbed and four hours actually went quite quickly. Yeah, I already knew how to make it. I was just doing it in a different medium. I mean, my hand was definitely cramping a bit by the end by all the frantic scribbling to get it done on time. I did take some short videos of the process so you can sort of see what it was looking like but I messed up and I didn't take any photos or videos of like the final finished drawing. I think I just got so absorbed and so keen to just finish it and get it in on time um, that I just completely forgot to do my YouTube duty so oops. But maybe with the process videos you can sort of get an idea of what it was looking like but yeah sorry. Yeah I was very happy after the first section. I was actually quite keen to just get on to the next one, I was having so much fun. The second section was with a model, so it was anatomy, life drawing. Yeah, I mean, I got quite lucky because that is definitely one of my strengths and I really like it. I find it really fun, so again, very happy with the second section. I also did have a hunch that there would be a model, so I did some sketching the night before to practice and try out my new materials. I had to buy myself some charcoal um, and some other drawing materials because I left all my stuff in Australia, so. I had to just get familiar with my new stuff. So I got myself some charcoal sticks and a kneadable eraser and some white charcoal too. For me, those are some really important materials to have for life drawing. So yeah, the second section was a male model and he did two poses and we could do as many drawings as we wanted throughout the four hours. I did two drawings of the first pose. One of them was with charcoal and it was definitely focusing more on just strong shading and just being more messy. And then the second drawing was with graphite and I was just trying to get really precise, good line work. And then I just did one drawing of the second pose and I took my time to try and incorporate different elements of shading and shapes with line work work to make a more sort of elaborate drawing and I did that in red coloured pencil. That was really fun. Yeah, I mean overall I was trying to just show a variety of skills and just show that I can do different areas. Um, yeah, that's always good. Again, it was very much free liberty. Uh, the only thing that they told us was make sure at least one of your drawings is like full body in the page just to make sure that we can do proportions properly and actually fit what we want on the page. Uh, I did not take any photos or videos of those just because it would be kind of disrespectful to whip your phone out when there's a naked man standing on the stage. So, And actually it is quite fleeting, I mean I did ask if we'd get those drawings back after the exams and they told us no that they'd just go to archives. It is a bit sad that after so many hours of work you just give it away straight away and never get to see it again. But it does feel rather special and romantic that a, an artwork just vanishes as quickly as it came. My laptop is about to die. <sighs> the final part of the exam was the interview. Again, we de we all just didn't have a clue what was going on at that point. We didn't know what to expect and when to come. Again, it was, it was badly organised, to be honest. So yeah, everyone just came to the academy at 9am and it was crowded, like we were all just crushed in there like sardines. We didn't know how people were called, whether it was just order by line or alphabetical order. In the end it was alphabetical order and they had a couple different rooms. But even I had to wait like an hour and a half to get in so I can't imagine people with the last name starting with a Y, like that must suck. And yeah, we were definitely crowded in there, you could feel the anxiety and the nerves which wasn't super helpful, but I had my tactics to stay calm. I was honestly just trying to look at it as a conversation, a nice, pleasant conversation where, you know, they get to know you and you just get to express why you're here. So in the end, like, all you have to do is tell the truth. You just have to show that you're passionate in art and that you're excited and curious to learn. If you show that, then I, I don't see why they wouldn't let you in, honestly. At the end of the day, we're all just trying to get into art school to discover and learn and improve as artists. If you make this clear, I, I really don't see why. Unless you're going into like a really specialised course where there's like a prerequisite amount of knowledge. But I really think that just 
passion and curiosity to learn is one of the most important things that you can show in an exam like this. And I mean, that's pretty much exactly how it went. They just asked me why I was here and why I wanted to attend. It was extremely quick and rushed. I think I, I talked for about three minutes or something, but obviously I understand like with the amount of students that they have to get through, they just want you to get in and out as quickly as possible. But it was a bit frustrating, I think, especially for me, like obviously I'm better in English. So I was trying to find my words and form my sentences and so I was a bit slow and they were talking over me and I felt very rushed and it did sort of stress me out so when they did eventually like ask me a question of like can you name an artist my head was just gone empty but at the end of the day nerves do that to people I'm sure it's nothing new I got in in the end so I don't think they're going to judge you if you get nervous you know they did have a quick look at my drawings from my drawing exam while I was talking but that was that. I did feel a bit let down afterwards, to be honest. I felt like I didn't really manage to express what I wanted to because I got nervous and I also sort of, I had prepared an online portfolio to show them with images of some past artworks. They didn't really make it clear if they wanted us to do that or not, so I just decided to make it anyway and bring it. But I was hoping to like show them some of my work and the ideas and what I wanted to achieve. Um, which I just, three minutes gone so quickly. So I, I felt kind of let down. I didn't feel good. And I do have a tendency of assuming the worst so that I don't get disappointed. So I, I gotta say, I convinced myself that the, I wasn't gonna get in and it went terribly and they hated me. I didn't do as terribly as I thought I did. And I'm sure that's the case for most people, to be honest. But you know, once it's done, it's done. And oh my God, I've been talking for an hour. But you know, once it's done, it's done. And you did your best and that's the best you can do. And what's supposed to happen will happen. And if that's not where you're meant to go right now and you're just not ready, that's okay. That's how I like to look at it anyway. They sent me an email at the beginning of the next week to tell me that I got accepted, which was quite a magical moment, quite emotional. And I'm going to be starting my art studies at the end of October, which is quite a late start, I realise. It's like a month and a half after the exams, but I'm very excited and I can't wait to start. And I can't wait to take lots of sick videos and share what exciting projects I get up to. I hope sharing my experience was interesting or helpful to you. Um, if it was, do press that like button, that would be much obliged. And subscribe if you're interested in the shenanigans that I will inevitably be getting up to this year. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. That's it for me. Oh, cramp. Huzzah.